Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel. And today it's all about the serial ports and print commands for the Arduino ID. So let's get started now. As last week we learned about POM's law, this week we go into the next steps, which is understanding the serial ports and of course the print commands. And this will give us the foundation for all future videos on Arduino. This is why I do this special video on the suggest today. Of course, I started up the Arduino IDE, name my project, make sure the Arduino is connected, as you can see here. You can double check from here as well. Here. I'm too fast. <laughs> Alright, like so. Once we are here, what I need to do is to start and declare some variables huh? to make sure we understand the process I'm going through. We go in here, before the voice setup, we can leave a space and I will call it integer C for counting, as it will be a counting integer and it will be equal to 1. Without a space here and of course the semicolon. And this is declaring the variables. And of course, do not forget that, like so, leave a space, as I was saying. Now, what do I show you in a previous video a long time ago? So, let's refresh ourselves. In order to use the serial monitor, which is here, I will show you later, we need to start in the voice setup, the serial monitor. Luckily, we need to do it only once, and we do it in here, the voice setup. So, we start with a capital S, serial, Right and dot begin. My gosh, I don't know how to write today. <laughs> All right, and we need to set the volt rate. We will see that later about the volt rate. But for now, let's start it at 9600. And then here in the void loop, we need to print into the serial monitor here. So basically, this is to start the serial monitor, which monitor everything that you do. And this one is to output it to the serial monitor here. And to do so in here, so we just have to write serial, still with a capital S, very important. I'll show you without, all right? Serial dot print. This is what you have to do. You can see that he recognized the dot print, but not the serial. And that's what I was saying. The capital S, very important. Now we are ready to print whatever we want to print. Well, we will print, of course, C. All right, like so, with a semicolon. And if you look by a previous video, you know that if we do this, basically we'll do C, 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 which is equal to one, actually. So it will be one, plus one, 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 one. What we want, that it's to declare that C is equal to C plus 1. And what this does, or will do, sorry, basically, it will do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 every time, increase by 1. And of course, we are not done because if we don't put a delay, we won't see the number. I mean, we can print if you want. We can do the test right now. I send this to the Arduino, all right? Oh, he's expecting something. And what is that? You guys should have told me it's not it's this we need to put here all right so if i verify you can see that it is correct so now i can send this to the arduino i show you if you do like this and you can see to launch a serial uh, monitor normally it's Control shift and m with mine it doesn't work what you can also do instead of clicking on this one here or doing the shortcut it's click here we just launch the serial monitor and see what's happening that's strange because Nothing happened. We're supposed to have number here. And do you know what's wrong? I tell you what's wrong. It's because of the board rate that we have here. If you look on the serial monitor here, the board rate is different. As soon as we change it, like so, to 9600, you will see the numbers start to appear. And you can see that we lost some numbers because it started to count, of course, in between the time that I explained. And this formatting is a very poor formatting. Unless I did not explain to you earlier, you wouldn't know or it will take you a while to find out what's happening. The board rating basically is the speed at which the computer is speaking to the Arduino. We can change it. I will put it at this and change it 115200 oh, oh, to match it to the Arduino. All we have to do now is to send it 
and see what the results are once it's loaded like so. You can see that definitely it's much faster and it's even more difficult to see what's happening. So we will put the delay as I was saying earlier and come back to that. In here we put the delay, alright? The delay and we put the timing we then format it properly otherwise it wouldn't work you notice that if it's not formatted correctly the arduino helps you once again huh? i send this and we check one more time now we can see but we can make it better and it's as simple as asking the arduino every time you have a new input or a new calculation just go to the next line and this is done simply by adding after print just L and send this to the Arduino like so and check you see there we are okay there was a little bug here but uh, we will see how <laughs> anyway we succeeded in that but now what I want is to make it more interesting obviously so what we are going to do is I'm going in here to create a string you can see it changes again and why do I choose string basically a string it's characters so it's numbers, letter, and signs as well. That's why I choose this to make our data much more understandable when we look at it. This string, you can call it whatever you want. For me, I will call it my data. And this will be equal, open parenthesis, always when you do a string, my data will be equal to what's in between those parentheses. And what's in between those parentheses, C space will be equal, another space, and close the parentheses and semicolon. And to use, this newly created string where do we put it I can send it but if I send it it will not work because I have to use it in the loop and I will put it before this serial print line here and the way I will do it is I copy this space like so because we use it like this and what do we put inside there we will put my data close the parenthesis semicolon now I can send this to the Arduino and check what this does. Hmm, that's weird, isn't it? It does what we ask him to do. It's C equal plus one, but you see that it's not in the same line. So if you recall earlier, we had the problem when everything was on the same line, and then that's the solution we need to use. It's we want this in the same line as that. But once this calculation is finished, we want to go to another line. Let's send this and see if it works. Yes! It works, isn't it? That's fantastic. I'm sure you like it. <laughs> but I'm sure you start to get bored now. So let's make it more interesting for you and I as well by introducing more variables. Where do we introduce the variables? Yes, that's correct. At the start. And how many will we create? Mm, let's see, we go with the flow. So we start by creating an integer. We will call it x and x will be equal let's make it two for example semicolon i create another one yeah that would be interesting like that x uh, y and that's of course you you find out we will do z after that let's put it to four semicolon and let's create another integer which is of course it's z but this time to spice it up i leave it alone yes let's see what this does now to use those, maybe I will remove this one here, remove that one here, z, it's equal x plus y. And then we are going to print it and see what does it do. Send this to the Arduino. Ah, something wrong. What's happening? Hmm, let's find out. So you find out what's happened? It's simple. Here, what do we want to print? C, but I didn't, I didn't put anything in this. You need to be careful when you copy something. It's either you create the whole thing or when you copy, you make sure you know what you are doing. And apparently, I don't know. <laughs> uh, there it is. Uh, gosh, you see so many errors. Ah, now it works. And let's see what does it do. Huh? It just gave me six, which actually, if you look at it, four and two, it's six, of course. So it was nice in the novelty, but that's a little bit boring, isn't it? So what can we do to make it more interesting? Well, we can do like this. Remember, I have it in the memory. Sorry for the indents, but uh, 
uh, yes, normally it's like this. So I will print X and I want to stay on the same line. So I do another print. Yes, I forgot like so. And what am I going to do here? Of course, I can use my data because for the time being, my data is C equal. So if I put this in, it's not correct. Maybe I can do like this. Don't forget to put space plus and another space. So let's do that. In here, I will put my data and then simply print Y like this. Rumbling, check. Fixing problem, check. Hopefully, now it works. And let's see what this does. Hmm, there is something wrong here. And you know what is it? I already told you, it's LN. I do not want those LN. Be careful when you copy and paste. Okay, this time, it's the correct one. And there it is. Yes, you see? So if we have X, but it gives us two, and why that is because here, X is equal to, understood? And here, in my data, it gives me what? In here, which is the plus. And in here, although I didn't declare it, it may seem like it is easier to do that way, because you don't have to type and declare all that. But this is because it's only one instance. That's why it's easier to do that way. You can do both ways, actually, as you can see. Otherwise, I can simply put here string my data to, for example, and put the equal. Or I can name it equal or equal to. Make sure you use the name here the same as in the parentheses and it will give you whatever you put in there. You see what I mean by that? Another things you may consider, it's for example, if I put this like this, what do you think will happen? No cheating here, eh? you pause and put your response in the comment down below. I want to know if you understand what I'm teaching you guys. <laughs> For those who say that nothing will happen, I give you half a star because it's kind of true. This is what they give me. What's inside the parentheses and not the integer that I declare there. In another world, nothing will happen except the Arduino will write what I ask him to write. No calculation or no operation will be done. And if you want to know what's happened if I simply remove the parentheses here, let's see what's happened. That's weird, isn't it? Do you understand what's happening here? It still calculate x and y because it knows that x is equal to and y is equal to 4. But it doesn't give me the number, it gives me what's inside the parentheses. And of course, the calculation, it's based on the criteria here. Another thing that we can do, it's for example, last month was Pi Day. So let's say I have pi is equal to 314. We all know that it is, okay? And how to use that? We are going to declare it not as an integer because this is wrong. If you saw my video about that, you will know. And for that, allow me to give you a big star. Actually, it's a float number. So we simply put like so, like this. It looks better also. And we will create another float. We call it R for radius and this radius will be equal to 4. Then we do another flow and this flow will be the area. You see where am I going with that? Then we can calculate the area. So let's see how we proceed with it. So we can remove this because we are not going to use it. We are with this. So how do we calculate the area? It's simple. The area is equal pi times r times r. Yes, it is. Indeed. And what do we want to print? Do we want to print all this here? No, we do not. So I remove all this, right? So let's tidy up a little bit, like so. We still want to print on the line, but I want to print what? It's the area. And now, what do we want to do? Of course, we want to enjoy our hard work. So let's send this to the Arduino and see how it looks like. Okay, I got number, but I don't know what it means. So I still do things that although it goes to the next line, is still poorly formatted. That's what I'm going to show you now is how to make it even better. And you will see it is fairly simple. The only things we have to think of is what do we want to see? We know we are going to get the number, but now we can create a new line. We want to stay on the same line, so I remove LN. And what do we want this line to say? I will put a circle with a radius 
do not forget to add the space, then close the parenthesis and add the semicolon. We can now go to the next set. And the reason I do like this, it's because I want to call the radius, which is R. Since R is already declared, I just have to go to the next line, put R, close the parenthesis, put the semicolon, and go to the next line. Now again, do not forget to remove Ellen again. Poor Helen. Because now we need to say as an area of, put a space, close the parenthesis, add the semicolon again. Now we can clear the comment here, but keep the delay, all right? Because if you are perfectionist, we need to do a serial print line this time. And if you haven't understand why, it's because this one is the last one. And add the period to finish the sentence. But do not forget to remove Ellen again at the area, because we want all these to be in the same line, all right? Once we do that, this time we should be ready to see what this gives us. So now let's open the monitor and see what we have. Oh, it's nice, but you can see something wrong here. Look, you can see formatting is okay, but here I cannot put a space after the 4 because this is the area. So where do we need to put the space? One more gold star for you guys. We need to put the space in the line where it's written as an area of, oh, and the space is just before. And to make the things even more interesting, as a bonus, we will add, in order for us not to read always the same thing, because it's kind of boring, admit it, huh? isn't it? So we will add r, it's equal, at r plus dot one. Let's send this to the Arduino again and see what the result is. So I told you it was even better like this, isn't it? With this now, we can generate a table if you want to, either in Excel or whichever you want, and you don't have to calculate. The Arduino will do it for you. So you can refer to this table whenever you want. Neat, isn't it? That's easy for today. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where, if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your youtube things, like, if you want to, subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!